thought we might like. My fans are really special to me. Thank you for your support over the years. Continue to believe in yourself, play hard, and always remember to enjoy the game. Your friend, Michael Jordan. Michael uh, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. I love you, Michael. All right, man. Thank you for calling me, man. And, and I hope you enjoy yourself. And I'm going to be watching for you, okay? All right. All right, my friend. I love you. Love you, man. Bye. That's it, buddy. Thank you, Michael Jordan. <laughs> Back in July, a video just exploded on Twitter of a Spokane man playing pickup basketball in Coeur d'Alene. So he stood out mm -hmm. because he was wearing a full Michael Jordan uniform. Darnay Tripp has been following this story ever since, and today, a very cool development. Yeah, you could say that. Like a lot of people, I first saw the video of him playing on the 4th of July when it went viral the following day. It was picked up by numerous national outlets, and the image still pops up from time to time on social media. In fact, the original tweet from Justin Hardiman has gotten nearly 10,000 retweets and likes and has even gotten Michael Jordan's attention. More on that in a second. The following week, I was able to meet the man behind the Jordan jersey, Jeffrey Harrison. Found out there's much more to the story than a dedicated fan. Harrison is 33 years old and has autism. He is unable to work, so he dedicates much of his time to basketball, watching videos of MJ's old teams or getting in on local pickup games, where he always wears one of his two Jordan uniforms, but it's not always easy for him when he shows up to play. Are people, for the most part, pretty nice or? Sometimes, not always. How does that make you feel when people give you a hard time? Frustrated. But you're never gonna stop playing basketball. No. Well, after our story aired, I passed it along to Michael Jordan's business manager, who showed it to the legend himself. He was so touched by Jeffrey's tribute that MJ decided to pass along a thank you to one of his biggest fans. Today we were there when Jeffrey got that, as well as a phone call he won't soon forget. I speak to Jeffrey, please. This is Jeffrey. Jeffrey, this is Michael Jordan. How you doing? Pretty good. I was just making sure you got all your gifts. I sent you a bunch of stuff so that you don't have to wear the same outfit. You can wear anything you want to wear to go out and play basketball now. Yeah, that sounds exciting. Yeah, exciting indeed. MJ sent Jeffrey two boxes packed with enough Jordan gear to leave any basketball fan speechless. There were sneakers, t-shirts, shorts, sweats, the list goes on, and a big smile on Jeffrey's face as he opened it all with family and friends watching. His mother Barbara Williams had kept it all a surprise. Jeffrey said he had no idea it was coming. And on top of the boxes was an envelope with a letter from his heiress. Continue to believe in yourself play hard and always remember to enjoy the game your friend michael jordan, michael jordan. <laughs> words of inspiration from the greatest basketball player of all time written specifically to jeffrey whose passion for basketball is fueled by mj and who despite the trials he goes through in life keeps showing up at the court emulating his favorite player from the gifts to the phone call jeffrey called it a dream come true i knew it was him What's it like having MJ on the other end of the line? <laughs> exciting. Very exciting. I should have asked him if he'd come to the Hoop Fest. Cause it's <laughs> bad. I was really touched. So it kind of, when I talked to him on the phone, it kind of brought me to tears after I got off the phone. So I kind of figured, well, this is going to really be nice because that's all he's ever talked about. The fact that Michael Jordan took the time to call and to put all this together. I love it. Yep, even the cologne, even the sweats, I love it. 